Detective Robert Hidden, right? Yes, sir. And you with the Richmond Police here in uh, North Carolina? Richmond County Sheriff's Office, yes. And also, I hear you're a pretty good driver. I don't know how good I am, <laughs> but uh, I get afforded the opportunity to train law enforcement in driving, pursuit driving, emergency response driving anyway. So, we're here at Red Rockingham Speedway with the new Lexus IS uh, 350. This is the F sport version so let's go around and like maybe you can give us a little tips about how to really learn how to drive on the obviously this is a racetrack we're gonna go faster than speed limit in the regular streets but uh maybe we can learn something we'll try So what's uh, in, in your opinion the most common mistake that, that regular drivers do outside of Speedway always? The biggest mistake in my opinion is just out driving people's ability. You have a, a, a lot of teenagers and young adults that uh, have no experience in high performance cars and they overdrive their abilities. Um, a lot of the things we see is a lot of uh, oversteer, especially in turns, improper setups. Um, a lot of it just comes with, with practice and with uh, a lot of experience. Uh, track, but uh, you can actually get, get out and out of the car. Not too bad. In these cars, this this particular model, it's, it's a great car. It's got good handling abilities, good acceleration. It's a nice car. Being uh, in, in, in law enforcement and uh, being a really good driver, you have to be. You're like doing uh, pursuits and all that. Uh, is there any car that can beat you out there in the street? There's a lot of cars that can outrun me in speed, <laughs> but not necessarily skill. Yeah. And radio, right? Radio, and radio goes faster. The radio is faster than anything on the road. <laughs> Here we go with uh, Detective Robert Hidden. Um, so don't think that you got your better driver than you really are, right? That's, <laughs> yeah. a, that's the lesson. That's the lesson. Yeah, especially with these new cars that have so much technology and like they're pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, and it will be really easy for people to push it out more than that. Than. And with a little rain or something, it can be very dangerous, right? It could. It could be very dangerous. Obviously, um, uh, water creates hydroplaning, creates your car to get loose. Um, what you can do sometimes on dry pavement, you can't do on wet pavement. Yeah. Even us, you know, we come out here yesterday, the track was a lot drier, and we were able to push the cars a little more. Um, there were some speeds in the straightaways that reached up over 104 to 106. Mm -hmm. Today, you're staying somewhere around 85 to 90, 90. Uh, in the highest the highest mile per hour range uh, so you know obviously you have to use more caution and that not only on the track that goes with the road as well uh, your regular driving you have to use caution especially your weather needs to be your guide uh, wet pavement wet roads snow ice sleet and everything else comes into play there's things we can't control even though these cars are built and sometimes they give you a false sense of security yeah they're so well the handling is so great with these vehicles sometimes you believe you can do more than what you can um, and sometimes you can do what you think you can do, but it's not worth taking the chance sometimes to push yeah, them. Yeah, because the mistakes level. happen really fast. They right? happen real fast. And you know, although cars can be repaired, can't be replaced. Lost a life so, and it's obviously, not worth pushing. respect speed limits and all the, all the regulations out there, right? Respect speed limits, respect the laws. And luckily here in Richmond County, we've got this track being the uh, Rockingham Speedway that offers things like uh, fast track driving school. And if people really want to come and hone their skills and learn how to drive fast, do it on these closed courses under this condition and you come out and drive real race cars with the proper safety equipment with, with qualified instructors um, the other thing the drag strip across the street you want to do that you know they, they do test and tunes people can bring their street cars out drive up and down the track all night long for a very minimal cost yeah and, uh, and it's a lot safer so you know my, my thoughts are if you have the skill or want to learn to have better skill do it in these closed settings on closed courses and uh, you know have fun doing it but do it in the right place yeah there's a lot of more places that nowadays that it used to be i guess and more opportunities so thank you very much for your time yes, and uh especially for your knowledge and sharing that with us thank you very much <laughs>